Today we continue our discussion about the seventh uh, tournament of the Yanis Mileika with the, our say foreigners. <laughs> so we were speaking a little English, and uh, here is uh, John Foley from the London, and it's uh, we have the also Victoria Nee. She is represent now with America, but she has some connection with the Latvia. And the first question will be to the John. John, you first time here participating in our tournament. What do you feel? What is the difference between the London Classic tournament we are doing for the kids and this tournament? Well, the London Classic <coughs> tournament, which takes place in December each year, we invite um, several hundred schools to attend. So they come in school groups and uh, several come each morning and then they are given a very interesting time. They play a tournament, they sit in the chair of the world champion, they go into theatre where there's a, like a big uh, chess show and um, they come away with a bag of uh, goodies and on the whole they really enjoy themselves. Um, it's not a serious... Uh, tournament for, 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 the, for the children um, but uh, it gives them a sense of uh, that chess is quite an exciting thing and there's people from all over the world and they really they really enjoy it oh, I see. and uh, Victoria you, you, you have <laughs> educated for the chess from here in, in Latvia and you have the experience in uh, say kids tournament in the States what do you see any difference uh, of the approach here and say in, in the States uh, I would say the approach is completely different because in states I would say it's more like a hobby. You know, here I could see that some kids are um, they're trying to be more focused. Um, maybe they're motivated by different, you know, different aspects like maybe traveling. You know, they, like chess mostly here gives you lots of possibilities, like it used to give me, like traveling around the world. You know, like. There are different reasons kids are trying to play here. And in sta States is more likely like more, uh, like a hobby, you know. So kids are enjoying like play once a month, once or two months, and they're just spending like some time and it's over like any other hobby. So. Yes, but, but in the same time, we know that the, in Latvia the results in general, yes, for, from the kids mm -hmm. is not so good now. But in the States, there are a lot of uh, many stars, uh, young stars, yes, which are doing very good work. Why? Right. So the, in the States, there is like a uh, wide of different players, you know. There is lots of kids who are trying really to study a lot. And there are, but there are lots of kids who are doing just as a hobby, you know, just as enjoying it because chess helps, like different things like math and so on. So they're doing this just to enjoy their time, you know. And many kids are really like trying to be, um, not tough, but they're trying to work hard, you know, and there's lots of competition again. So they're, of course, some succeed, you know, some become world champions and so on. So yeah, but at the same time, you know that, we know that your, your mother is also the trainer, yes? Mm -hmm. And still, it means that they're not so good level, like what before when we had the Mikhail Talo or say Alexei Shirov. Yeah, but um, I guess it has changed even when I started. So um, probably the level of chess right now, um, once in Europe, but in Latvia, what I see, you know, I'm happy to see lots of young kids playing chess. Today, in, in our tournament. Yeah, in, uh, in your tournament, yes, for sure. There was lo lo lots of players. I was really surprised to see so many kids playing chess. But the level itself is not as high as, as I would like it to be, you know, as it was like, I don't know, 15 years ago when I started or like 20 years ago. I don't know, maybe there is like, again, lack of motivation. I would guess lots of uh, parents, lots of kids migrate to other uh, countries. Maybe it might like be you. possible, like me, yes. It might be also a reason why it happens. But um, so yeah, I wish they could be motivated more and play more, more motivation. Chess, okay, yeah. mm -hmm. John, and you are in responsible person in the European Chess Union for the chess education, and you have uh, doing a lot of the conferences in the London during this uh, London uh, Classic, and uh, uh, in principle you are going to approach the many kids 
Yes, like you said, it's more the fun than the tournaments. Yes, and in the same time, uh, if to get the results, because we also know that the English team is now not so strong one in compare, say, of course, with the states also, and or not talking about the India or Pakistan. Mm -hmm. What what is the reason? Maybe something wrong in your system for just preparation for of kids. I mean. Well, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm secretary of the Education Commission for the European Chess Union. And I'm director of the London Chess Conference, and the one this December, the topic is scholastic chess, i.e. how can you make chess relevant to children in the schools? And actually, our focus is on education. <clears throat> um, in what way can children develop their thinking skills by playing chess? And uh, as Victoria mentioned, you know, mathematics is one of the connections that, that we make, and we have, we're developing some really interesting exercises and we've been fortunate to receive funding from Erasmus Plus to do a project called CHAMPS which is uh, chess and uh, mathematics in primary schools and that's going to be starting shortly. Um, so our emphasis really is just on getting children to think through the medium of chess. Actually we're not primarily interested in competitive chess or producing as it were grandmasters for the future but just from a statistical point of view, if 100 children uh, learn chess, maybe two or three of them will go on to play it on a more, more kind of competitive basis. And that's, uh, that's sufficient. If they hadn't been learning chess in school, they wouldn't have uh, taken it up. But I think what I could ju just quick remark on the England uh, team, <clears throat> most of the England chess players are basically self-taught. They, they were individuals that just came out of nowhere, if you like, and no chess in schools program would have captured these guys. You know, Michael Adams, um, Nigel Short, Luke, Luke McShane, Gawain Jones, uh, these guys uh, just, uh, you know, popped out of nowhere. Like Magnus Carlsen. I think we have to be realistic that some of the greatest chess minds are created, uh, as it were, in a different way from the kind of conventional way of uh, chess in school. And Mikhail Tal, I think, is a case in point. I think he was just a, a genius, we all recognize. Yes, true, but in the same, of course, in Latvia, there <coughs> a lot of the strong players. OK, thank you. It's clear your answer. But I, one small question, very short one. We would like to start education f f of kids by chess. At which age? Well, <coughs> I, I've got a fairly firm view on this. I think that the age of eight is the best. Eight. Is the best okay, age to start chess. Victoria, yeah. what is your opinion? Mm, I would think like uh, later six. Like six? Yeah. Like okay, six. thank you. Yeah. And thank you for coming for our country, and I'm sure that this context will help us to do this chess networking. Thank you for thank the you. wonderful tournament. Thank you, Yuri. Yeah. Yeah.